Hi, I just wanted to hop on really quickly to let you know that I have a little video coming later this afternoon um, responding to something Kathy asked me about long periods of time seated and how one's feet and ankles can swell. And that's one of the problems. I personally end up with really tight hips. And I told her that my first go-to is really starting at the bottom, and that means your foot and your calves. So I do a calf stretch and I posted a photo of that calf stretch. I do that multiple times a day. That little half dome foam roller, sorry, I thought the video had stopped. <laughs> that little half dome foam roller that you see in that photo is something well worth the $8 that you can get on Amazon. Hopefully you have Amazon Prime and you can just order it and get it delivered for free. That is one of the most useful little pieces of equipment. And unless I have people coming over, it's sitting around my kitchen or my living room to remind me to stretch my calves multiple times a day. The next thing that I didn't write to her about is rolling your foot on a ball. And you can do this while you're seated. So I did tell Kathy, get up every 20 minutes, meaning set a timer every 20 minutes, get up and walk for a minute. You really need to get circulation going. When you get swelling in your ankles, it's because there isn't a circulatory measure to get the blood flow going back up. So our lymphatic system is part of what clears the fluid. And if we're seated, there isn't pumping at the ankle going on from walking, so you're not gonna be moving anything around. So that's number one, is get up and walk around every 20 minutes. Number two, or previous number one, is the calf stretch. Then we come to the balls. I love this little ball with the spikes, and you can again Google it and find it online, and I roll my foot on the ball. So that means I'm taking my foot on the ground and rolling it around. You have so many bones and muscles in your foot more than anywhere else in your body that really truly getting a little more circulation in there is super super important and now i have a little surprise to reveal so there are balls that look like this they can be yoga tune-up they can be pinky balls you can get them sometimes at the dollar store they're solid rubber balls i've been looking online trying to find a promotional solid rubber ball because i'd like to send everyone who joins short and sweet with Sarah, two solid rubber balls. I use them a lot in my videos and you can use these at your desk to roll your foot. I'll later this afternoon show you a whole little routine for warming up your foot, getting your foot reactivated after you've been sitting for a while. This can just become one of those stacking your life type habits. I find that this ball, spiky ball doesn't roll away from me quite as easily, but these feel a lot nicer. So I like to use these. I have it under my foot. I'm just rolling around. Yes, my right foot, because I'm right dominant, is a lot easier to roll around than my left, but this is one of the things that I do. I'm going to also show in my video this afternoon how you can use a washcloth or a towel and use your toes to scrunch on that. So that's all coming up later this afternoon when I have some time in my little workout room but I wanted to give you a heads up on all of these things and let you know that I will hopefully be sending all my members these little balls come hell or high water. It will happen. I will find the right one. I want the ones with density. So stay tuned. And Kathy, we're going to make sure you get some balls under those feet.